Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you a few YouTube video ideas for when you actually have a channel to use that could be very popular, that could outperform your regular videos without you having to be on camera. So I obviously do videos about how to come up with channel ideas without you having to be on screen, but this is after you've started that one of those channels and what kind of content you should put out without being on screen that would still get a lot of views. So one idea that you could do is say a home office tour. If you're like a business person, you could do a gaming setup tour. Like if you have a room for your gaming, you could have a tour of that. If you're just, you know, just about any other kind of YouTuber, you could do a tour of your house or your apartment, whatever a tour of something that is a room or multiple rooms that you live in or work in is something that pretty much always does well for just about any popular channel that does this. So you can check out, say, Project Life Mastery. They've done this three or four times because they seem to move a lot, but they do these tours of their home office and their penthouse or their million dollar home or whatever. And then they usually outperform their usual um, view count from their other videos. So those are some things you can check out. Obviously you can search for just about anyone who can do this as far as your favorite YouTubers. But uh, Mars is another one who's a gamer. You can check out like setup and room tour instead of doing an entire home. They just do like the, the room that they play video games in. So that's another example right there. Room tour with special guest Luca, Mars vlog. You can check that one out as another example. And again, you don't have to be in these videos. You can really just take your phone and record it as you go. Like I believe uh, some of the ones with Project Life Mastery, they're not even showing their face. Like this one right here, they're not showing their face. This one right here, they're not really showing their face either. So like the Vancouver one and the one that shows home office tour, those usually don't even show his face. So that's a great example. Just use your phone or your camera without you uh, recording yourself in the picture. Another thing you can do is screen share reviews. So you can review all kinds of products that you use on your phone or your own computer. A lot of fans are just interested in what your daily life is like. So what kind of tools do you like to use? What kind of apps do you have? Things like that. You can review or just uh, screen share these by having something like Screencast-O-Matic, which is a free version of a screen recorder, or you can get a better version like Camtasia, which has more bells and whistles, more features. Um, that's what I use right now is Camtasia. A lot of people ask me in the comments. That's what I'm using right now recording this video. But um, this one will set you back a couple hundred dollars. The other one you can start for free. It's just not going to be um, full of as many features. So. What you can do, again, is check out, say, like a Buffer versus Hootsuite uh, review. So I did one a while back, actually like five years ago, right here. Still kind of ranking, getting a little bit of traffic. But five years ago, back when YouTube was just something I did a little bit on the side, uh, I did a review of two social media management tools that I used at the time. And they, it actually did very well compared to the rest of my videos. 69,000 views. Uh, five years ago when you weren't when I wasn't doing YouTube that much was pretty good at the time so it's something that you can do very easily I wasn't showing my face at all in this video if you check it out there is no view of my face at all in fact my channel at the time didn't show my face at all so there's an example software that you like apps that you use you can use uh, AZ screen recorder for instance on your Android phone to record your uh, your phone screen while you're using an app for instance I've done that a few times in some of my videos and you don't have to show your face in that either another example which would be like if you just reviewed one thing like one app or one uh, single type of software that you use and like the acorns review this is an investing app that's you know very interesting to a lot of people it's pretty good for Millennials because it's easy to get started but someone like Graham Stephan reviewed it Obviously, it shows his face. He didn't have to do that. He could have just recorded his screen or recorded uh, what the website looked like. Um, but it's a great example of a video idea for someone who does investing in finance advice, recorded something related to that that's a popular tool, 
and got 1 million views from it. So you could do the same type thing just without your face involved using one of the tools I showed you earlier. Another thing you can do is a tutorial. Online tutorials still do very well to this day. You can show people how to do things related to your channel. So for instance, if you do WordPress tutorials, you can show people how to get a certain plugin. You can show people how to customize their website or something like that. So uh, WordPress tutorial, watch a lot of these just as examples. A lot of times you will not see a person's face in them. They're just recording their screen using a screen recording tool like I showed you earlier. You can also check out other channels like even cooking channels where a lot of times you might see their hands but you don't actually see their face. You just hear their voice and uh, you see their hands or sometimes they don't even talk. They'll just show you step by step what they're doing, what ingredients they're using and you see the final product at the end and every step along the way. So there are many different ways to do this. You don't have to necessarily show your face to do a good job. Another popular type of video that works for just about any channel is a compilation. So you can do a compilation of maybe your own bloopers. You could do a compilation of your favorite apps, your favorite video games. You could do a compilation of funny clips you found on the internet. Uh, like twitch.tv, I've seen people build channels around just getting video game clips and then they'll mention the person who did the clip, their username on here, so it helps them get more popular by showing up on YouTube. And then they'll have a compilation of crazy video game clips for a certain game. I've seen people do the same type of thing with Reddit. They'll have Reddit videos like No 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 Yes is a pretty funny uh, video subreddit for instance where something looks like it's going to go really bad and then something great happens at the end so you could do like a compilation of these types of videos and maybe ask permission for the for the people that posted them they have channels built around compilations like people are awesome and they have a lot of videos about in small clips put together from people doing crazy stunts and what you want to do if you're going to build a channel around that is have a submissions page like they do but Otherwise, you can just do a video like this every once in a while and give credit where credit is due, of course. You also have a channel like MK, where basically they have a compilation of Reddit posts that usually are just a response or a meme or something like that. And then they'll have a little bit of witty commentary to go with it. And then you will never see the face of the guy who's talking. So you have all these videos and it's literally very simple to do these types of videos. You just go on a popular subreddit, you come up with a topic, and then you do like the top posts of a certain topic. And then you do some funny commentary on them. That's literally all they do and they have almost 2 million subscribers. So that's another thing you could do as well. You could also do a product unboxing. So a lot of YouTubers, their fans might send them stuff in the mail if you like set up a P.O. box for that or something. Um, you can get fan mail, you can get uh, maybe certain products for your home office and you're going to unbox it and show people how to set it up. You have people like I think PewDiePie did a new computer the other day and he unboxed that for one of his videos. He probably got like 5 million views at least for that. So there are a lot of different ways that you can just unbox stuff. And, uh, you know, another thing I've seen is people who do uh, toy reviews and stuff. They'll just have like their hands unboxing a toy and then they'll get thousands and thousands of views and you'll never even see the face of the person who's doing the toy reviews so some of these get 1.6 million subscribers or even more than that I've seen some that have to do with like just Disney toys and they'll get millions of views per video and it's just like you see the woman's hands you see the toy you see them take it out of the box and stuff and that's literally the video and then you also have people who will be like a fitness youtuber who'll be like what's in my gym bag or a makeup tutorial person who's like what's in my purse or you know something like that or say a business person what's in my backpack you know whatever those types of things all tend to do very well and they're usually pretty popular videos and you don't have to be in them at all you don't have to even show your face last but not least a very popular youtube idea that you could do easily without being on camera is how much YouTube pays me. So this is something that a lot of fans are interested in. They want to know how much their favorite YouTubers make from one video. So you can literally just record your screen using something like I mentioned earlier, Screencast-O-Matic or Camtasia, and just record your YouTube analytics page and show them how much you made for a certain video, how much you made for a certain month, a certain year, whatever. And a lot of people are going to be interested in that if they follow you. So 
You you can look up how much YouTube pays me on YouTube search and find all sorts of videos. Usually they'll get at least, you know, a lot more views than the rest of their videos would normally get. So that's another topic you can do. Those are a few different ones you can try. All of these are usually very popular. You know, there's usually a trend between each one of these ideas that a lot of people like this kind of stuff. You don't have to be on camera to make really popular videos is kind of the gist of this. So hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.